always good, D, that the team is hungry for more. Thank you. A little rain didn't hold back the pregame fun, folks. Diehard Chiefs fans lined up at the gates as early as 3.30. Yeah, 3.30 a.m. Just to ensure they got their favorite tailgate spot. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan caught up with a group of fans that's been tailgated in style for the last 10 years. The food looks good and the fans look fun. When anybody walking by, this is the tailgate. We want them to stop and go, wow, that's amazing. But what really draws people into this tailgate party? The fan van. This is a 1990 Chevy uh, school bus actually from Indianapolis. Mark DePoto and a few of his neighbors bought the bus for $1,400 in 2010. It was so bad that the guy was throwing in uh, a Ford Taurus for the price of the purchase. Yeah, we, we had to convince him not to give us the Taurus because we didn't want it. At the time, it was a big upgrade from the original fan van. Our first uh, vehicle was a little Chevy van, and our first tailgate was me and three guys. Since then, the bus and the tailgate party that surrounds it has morphed, becoming one of the best stops to get your pregame on. That it grew to this is kind of crazy. Most tailgates, we host 75 to 100 people. Over the years, they've added a kegerator, bar tables, and and yes, even a makeshift restroom. The engineering that's gone into this bus is half the fun. I mean, the hiding spaces, the way things collapse, the way things can add on. The fan van has even attracted some celebrities. So all the celebrities we have come out to tailgates, we have them autograph the bus um, and you know, get Clark Hunt right here. Um, a couple of the Chiefs cheerleaders that have been out. And through all the years of change, one thing stays the same. And we all still get together after 10 years and tailgate every Sunday. Which really was the whole reason they got the fan van in the first place. This is our favorite place to be, and we've been coming to the same party for 10 years, and in no way is that disappointing. Reporting at Arrowhead Stadium, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.